You're listening to Thriving Mindfully Podcast with Ananda Lee. Tune in and learn how you can be present, well, and the real you from the heart. Right now I'm sitting in my kitchen and um, it's a little after midnight on March the 7th and I'm sitting here with my hoodie, feeling um, feeling really vulnerable. I'm thinking about what happened four years ago in, um, in the second week of March with the global pandemic and how it shut everything down and how it changed my life completely. And how I lost a number of people that I love during this four-year period. How I lost the life that I had. How my way of communicating with others changed. My reliance on technology expanded beyond my wildest imagination and to my detriment at times. Um, And I'm still dealing with that. I am thinking about how the last four years created a lot of death, a lot of loss, and a lot of grief. And I'm starting to to feel the heaviness in my body. I'm starting to feel things in my heart. And it's adding to the grief that I, I carry around my mother and loving, wise, and well ancestor, Teresa B. Garden Leak, and her passing over the last seven or eight months. And so I'm feeling the heaviness and I'm talking about it now because I know I'm not the only person that's feeling it as a result of the last four years of living through the global pandemic known as COVID-19. And in many ways, we are still living in in this period. It's shifted and changed, but we're still living. And we're still impacted by it in ways that we see and ways that we don't see. And one of the things that I am... Choosing to do is I move into a new march. Choosing to befriend the death, the loss, and the grief that I feel from the pandemic. All of these changes. I'm choosing to befriend them. I don't want to run from the feelings anymore. I don't want to hide from them. I don't want to ignore them. I want to surrender to to it all. And I want to be open to having this time be a time where I ask myself what are death, loss, and grief trying to tell or teach me as a result of these four years of living in a pandemic and having it impact me in ways that I may be aware of and ways that I may not be aware of. I'm putting that question out there about what each of the 
the experiences of death, loss, and grief are trying to teach or tell me. By posing that question and opening myself up to death, loss, and grief and having an intention to befriend them, I'm surrendering. I'm surrendering. I am surrendering because I can't control when these emotions, when these thoughts, these feelings, when they pop up or how they impact me. They just come. What I can do is lean into my self-care practices, lean into breathing deeply, hugging myself, journaling, writing, getting therapy, moving my body with mindful movement, writing poetry, writing, creating art that allows me to express what, what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. I don't want to stay stuck. And I don't want to struggle. So I'm shifting from being stuck and struggling to surrendering. To surrendering and to staying open to what this part of my life is trying to teach and tell me. Well, I want to encourage you to take a moment to see if you're experiencing or running from or trying to escape any emotions around the grief, the loss, the death that may have occurred over the past four years of living in a pandemic. And I want to encourage you, if you need to get the support from a therapist, a coach, a community, your own deep work, to explore getting the help that you need and to take great care of yourself. Tune in to the Ananda Marshals that I have following this short podcast to, to explore how we might work together. Thanks for tuning in, and may we all be kind and gentle with ourselves as we navigate the impact of this last four years. May we be soft with ourselves. May we be patient with ourselves. May we forgive ourselves. And most of all, may we love ourselves. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye. Death, loss, and grief happen to each of us throughout our lifetime. There's no way to escape them. They change us in our lives without any notice. They are filled with messy and hard moments that leave us feeling overwhelmed and out of control. I know in the past 59 years of living on Mother Earth, that I've learned that death, loss, and grief are a master class in surrender. And in the last seven, eight months of dealing with the loss of my mom and loving, wise, and well ancestor, Teresa B. Garden Lee, I am learning how to 
embrace her death, my loss, and my grief with a softness, a softness that is rooted in my heart, that allows me to say that I am learning how to walk this all out. as a thriving mindfully journey in death, loss, and grief. And so this year, I decided to share the lessons I'm learning in a monthly Grief in You retreat that is designed to encourage and support you in learning how to embrace thriving mindfully with the death, the loss and the grief that you face in your own life. The Grief in You Retreat will be held on March 17th, April 13th, May 5th, June 30th, July 28th, August 25th, September 29th, October 27th, November 17th, and December 15th from 2 to 3.30 p.m. via Zoom. If you'd like to explore how you can begin to embrace thriving mindfully with death, loss, and grief, or if you're struggling with them, go to anandalik.com forward slash events to get more information about these monthly retreats, the Grief and You retreats, and to sign up and join me. There are three different um, payment options because I want to make sure that people have access to it. So it's a sliding scale with three different types of options. So check it out and I'll see you in the Grief in You retreats. Take care. One of the best ways to develop your own understanding of human design is by getting a reading, by getting a coaching session. And so that's what I'm offering as your human design doula. Go to anandalik.com forward slash human design to learn how we can work together. If you're looking for ways to inspire and empower yourself to be present well in the real you, and you want to take advantage of some of the things that I use, check out my Amazon store. Go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Anandalik, and there you'll find the Thriving Mindfully store, which is filled with recommendations on things that I have used in my own life, relationships, and career to be present well in the real me. Check out my three mindfulness books, my yoga and self-love inspired novel, Love Troubadours, my mindful creativity memoir, That Which Awakens Me, and my mindful technology memoir, Digital Sisterhood. In addition to various books, various products, essential oils, crystals, wisdom card decks, all kinds of things that I've used in my own life and spiritual and self-care practices to be who I am today, including the sound bowls that I use, the Koshi chimes, the ocean drum, you name it, it's there. Check it out. Thank you for patronizing me on Amazon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Thriving Mindfully Podcast. If you're ready to be inspired and empowered with my coaching support, Join me in the Thriving Mindfully Academy. Visit anandalik.com forward slash academy. Now, if you're ready to dive deeper and move past your comfort zone with my one-on-one coaching program, book a discovery call with me today. 
visit anandalik.com. If you need something juicy to read, check out my three mindfulness books, Love's Troubadours, a self-love and yoga-inspired novel, That Which Awakens Me, a mindful creativity memoir, and Digital Sisterhood, a mindful technology memoir. Go to anandalik.com forward slash books. All of my books are available on amazon.com. Well, that about wraps us up. And as I always like to say, may we all continue to embrace thriving mindfully in everything that we think, feel, say, and do. See you next time.